Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I film and edit my YouTube videos. This video has been highly requested by you guys on Instagram because every time that I post a video, there's always someone asking me what I used to edit, what I used to film, how I film, how I plan, all of that stuff. So I'm going to address everything about that in this video. This video is mainly to show you my beginner perspective on YouTube because I have been on YouTube for more than six months, but I still use pretty affordable things. I haven't spent a lot of money on equipment for YouTube. And basically when you see these types of videos, you see other creators using super expensive stuff and I don't think that you need super expensive stuff to create content on YouTube. So that's everything that I'm going to show you today. And I'm going to answer some of your questions about different topics to cover up in this video. So for those that are new here, I started my YouTube channel September 2018. I posted my October Plan With Me video and it's still up on my channel, you can still watch it. The video is not great, um, and I'm the first one to say that, but it was the first step for me to create content on YouTube, so it's a really big step on my YouTube career, and basically that is also a motivation if you want to start YouTube, if, and if you think that you need to buy an expensive camera, that you need to have beautiful editing, that you need to um, talk confidently on camera like you don't need any of that you just need your phone if you don't have a camera and whatever you want to film and post it you don't need anything else and if you watch my first video that's basically what i did so i'm being very transparent with you about that and if you want more motivation uh, on how to start youtube videos you can watch your favorite youtubers first youtube videos and you can see that their quality is not the best or that they are not super confident on camera and i just want to transmit that to you that you don't need to be perfect on your first YouTube video um, you just need to be yourself and put your content out there and people are going to enjoy it anyways because they know it's your first YouTube video and from then you can just improve so you have nothing to lose if you post your first video with whatever equipment you have at home so now let's talk about equipment so for my first youtube video i used a pretty crappy camera and when i posted i saw the poor quality that the camera had and i switched to the iphone on my second video and that's what i used until around april i think i used my iphone 6 it's the normal iphone 6 and what I recommend is if you have your phone at home and you want to start creating YouTube content and you want to film a video, you just need your phone. If your phone has a camera, use it. But uh, around March, I decided to purchase a camera. And the camera that I have is the camera that I'm using right now, which is a Canon M100. And it's pretty similar to the G7X, but the M100 is better than the G7X and it's cheaper. So I decided to purchase that one. And I don't have any concerns with this camera. It came with the lenses and with the battery and with the battery charger. And it's a pretty good camera, I highly recommend it. And you can see I am filming with that right now. And I highly recommend this camera because it's pretty affordable. It's the one that I use and I have no regrets uh, whatsoever until now. So I highly recommend it. Now, inside the camera, I used to use a eight gigabyte SD card, but because that would run out of space pretty quickly i decided to purchase a 32 gigabyte uh, sd card and this one i bought from aliexpress and it was around like five bucks if i'm not mistaken um, and it works just fine but it's a mini sd card so thankfully i had an adapter at home and it's the one that i used to insert my sd card on my camera and aliexpress also has pretty affordable batteries and i purchased one from there because sometimes i was filming and i would run out of battery and i had to charge it and then i needed to wait so i decided to purchase one from aliexpress and it's a fake one so it's not a canon battery but it works just as fine so basically what i recommend is go on aliexpress and see the equipment that you need and buy from them because they actually have pretty affordable stuff if you don't want to spend a lot of money now let's talk about tripods so this is a question that i receive a lot because you see me filming my bullet journal videos where i need to film my desk from the top and you also ask me like where do you put your camera what tripod you use and all that stuff and the tripod that i use is this one right here. Here is where I 
put my camera facing down so I can film my desk and I put the legs on my desk. This tripod was from the dollar store. So the original tripod was this one right here. And what we basically did was, as you can see, the tripod has this stick right here. So what we did was we took this uh, stick right here and we screw it um, here so I could film my desk and that was basically what I did okay, so I don't know if I'm going to purchase a better tripod soon but I don't think so because that tripod is working amazing and I just put it on my desk and I film my bullet journal videos and it works amazing now we're going to talk about lighting and now I'm filming with only natural light so I have my huge window here open giving me all of this natural light I'm not using any ring light or artificial light um, and that is the first thing that I want to say if you want to film your videos and you have a huge window use that because sometimes that's enough but if you want a little bit of extra uh, artificial light what I recommend is ring lights obviously because that's the only uh, piece of equipment that I've been using for artificial light and the one that I have is this one right here so this is a mini ring light and this ring light has been my best friend since I started YouTube because um, I purchased this for like my third or fourth video on YouTube because it was winter and I didn't have a lot of natural light so I decided to purchase this one and this is from AliExpress too and it was around 20 bucks if I'm not mistaken but this ring light gives you enough light if you just need that tiny bit of artificial light it is not going to cover your whole room with light it's not one of those a hundred bucks light of course but for beginners if you want to purchase a ring light I recommend this one and um, because this was pretty affordable I use this ring light to film my bullet journal videos so I normally uh, put this ring light on top of my tripod where my camera is and it works really good because I normally film my bullet journal videos in the morning and that is another concern that you should have is to film your videos in front of a window in the morning I am currently filming this and it's around 10 a.m. Um, but I normally film in the morning and after lunch which it still has a lot of natural light but if you want something uh, bigger and a little bit better and also a little bit more expensive I have this ring light which is a beauty ring light so it's the next level of ring lights and this is still pretty affordable um, this was around 30 or 40 bucks it's bigger than the other one for sure but this one was around 40 dollars and this was 20 and again you don't need a hundred dollar ring lights because there are a lot of cheap ring lights that you can buy without spending a lot of money so definitely check out those ones that are going to be in the description if you want to purchase them now i'm going to talk about sound so as you can probably tell, I don't have a microphone yet. I have one coming in the mail. I'm going to link in the description the microphone that I bought, but I'm not talking about it because I don't have it yet. But as soon as I have it, I'll let you know. But basically what I use to record my voice is my iPhone. So now I have my camera recording my face and I have my iPhone right here recording my voice. So when I'm editing, I just drag the file of me talking to the camera and I check the sound. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I film and edit my YouTube videos. Then I drag the audio file that matches what I just said. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to hey show guys. you... And I try to match both of my voices so they are synchronized. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video... And after that, I just mute my voice on the filming file, so the auto file on the bottom is the one that you listen to on the video. I'm going to show you how I film and edit my YouTube videos. Now, to wrap up the equipment department, I'm going to talk about some of the miscellaneous things that I find important to talk about in this video. Um, the first one is that I use... Uh, those sports leg weights to my camera tripod so the camera doesn't fall on the tripod um, a lot of people use bags and there's um, actually specific weights for tripods but i had one of these laying around at home so i decided to use it and this is what i use on my tripod i just wrap it around the tripod and it just works as a weight 
to create the cute text that you see on my latest videos, I use my Wacom Intuos tablet. If you don't want to buy an iPad but you still want to do digital art and to learn uh, how to do like digital calligraphy and all that stuff, I recommend this one. The only thing that it's a little bit hard to do is the calligraphy because on the iPad you're writing on the screen and with this guy you need to write here but the text is on the screen. So you can't look at the tablet, you need to look at the screen and write it on the tablet. So at the beginning is a little bit hard to write on this one, but then you kind of get the hand of it and you can create a lot of digital art with this one. So this is the one that I recommend if you want to purchase a digital tablet, but you don't want to purchase an iPad. So another question is how do I film myself? So to film myself, I use the trick of plugging my camera into my monitor so i use this cable that is an hdmi to a mini usb um, that plugs into the camera and into my monitor so instead of seeing myself on the viewfinder that it's on top of the camera i see myself on the monitor so it's a really good trick because as beginners you tend to look up to the viewfinder instead to the lenses so with this trick you need to look over there so if you want to look at, at yourself and keep talking you need to do this and it's pretty obvious to the viewer that you're not looking at the camera that you're looking at yourself so that is the quick trick that I use so instead of looking at the viewfinder I force myself to look at the camera so if I need to fix myself or to see if I'm good I just speak what I had to speak I pause I see if I'm okay and I keep going and it's way better because the viewer can see that you're looking at them instead of looking at yourself. So right now this is what my setup looks like. Here I have a, my bathroom bench because um, this one doesn't have the back so when I'm filming myself you don't see anything behind me. Here on my chair I have everything that I want to talk about and show on camera while I'm filming myself. Here I have my laptop with everything that I want to talk about so I don't forget anything. Here I have a stack of books with my camera's box on top and on top of that a washi tape to put my camera on and the washi tape actually helps because the camera is not going to face down, it's going to face a little bit up. And here I have the cable that I used to plug in my camera to film myself here on the monitor. So this is what my filming setup normally looks like. Here I have my bullet journal and normally here I have all the supplies that I'm using to create my themes. Here I have the tripod that I talked about. Here I normally plug the camera but I'm currently using it. Here is my ring light, it has the tripod on top of my camera's tripod. And here I have the weight and the cable of the ring light comes all the way here to my computer that now it's turned off but I normally plug it on my computer and it's how I have light. Here I have my chair and I normally just sit here and do my bullet journal. And then I have this cable right here which it plugs on my monitor where I can see what I'm writing and if it's focusing. And yeah, that is basically my setup. So now it's time to talk about editing and the software that I use to edit my videos is Wondershare Filmora. Pretty simple to use and I actually have the cracked version which means that I have all the features that they offer that you need to pay for but I cracked the software so I'm going to link a video in the description if you want to purchase Filmora and if you want the full thing and they actually have different aspect ratios. Just a quick note, YouTube accepts 16x9 so that's the one that I edit on and now I'm going to show you the full feature mode which is where you edit your videos and on the full feature mode you have this dashboard where you have your files at the top and a screen next to it to see how your video is turning out and then you have here all your files that you can use on your video and then they offer different things they offer co free copyright music they offer text and banners and you know uh, headers and all of that stuff that you can use in your video then you have the transactions uh, they are pretty helpful and I'm starting to using them. Um, the filters, so you can add different filters on top of your uh, files, which I don't use, but it's there if you want to. Overlays, which is kind of the same thing that I actually don't use. Elements are kind of stickers. Split screen is if you want to um, add to screens to your um, video. And then you have export, which is what I'm going to show you right now. 
Now let's talk about free copyright music. I am subscribed to three YouTube channels that provide free copyright music for creators. And the first one is music for creators. Then we have vlog, no copyright music and audio library. They all have playlists with different genres of music and they upload music pretty much every single day. So they really help you with that. And the link is going to be in the description for every YouTube channel that I'm talking about in this video. The website that I use to create my thumbnails is Photor. Photor is a free website where you can edit your photos, create collages and make new designs. It has a lot of features like stickers and fonts and it's pretty simple to use and they have every size of template you can possibly imagine. So if you are looking for a website to create your thumbnails, Photor is the best. Now I'm going to answer some of the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. And the first is, how did you find the motivation for your first video and were you scared? For my first video, I just filmed it and I edited it and I posted it. Nothing else. I was a little bit scared, but not that much because on my first video, I didn't show my face or my voice. So it was just my bullet journal setup. For October. By posting the first video it was my first step and I feel like a lot of people avoid their first step and they wait to have a better camera, better lighting, a better music, you know, voiceover and you don't need any of that. If I haven't posted my first video I wasn't here today so... The next question is, is it time consuming and how regularly do you think you have to post? So I have been posting since I started YouTube twice a month. One video on the 10th and my bullet journal setup for the next month on the 20th. And in July I'm trying to post more often because I'm on vacation and I don't have to study as much as I needed to study before. So when I'm filming my bullet journal setup videos they can take up to 5 hours to film because I need to make everything perfect and I need to see if it's focusing on the page, all of that stuff. And some of my uh, bullet journal themes are a little bit hard to do but others can only take around four hours because it's easier but it really depends on the theme of the month that i'm doing and for this type of videos where i talk to the camera and then i have the other things um it's even harder because i need to talk to the camera and it needs to be okay and the lighting needs to be good and you know everything needs to be good but it has the other part because the video is not only me talking I have the part where I show you different things and different angles of stuff and I record my screen and all that stuff so it's a little bit harder but for my bullet journal essentials video I filmed me talking to the camera in the morning like two hours and on the next day I filmed the supplies and the swatches on the table and is a little bit time consuming obviously this is not types of videos that you can film in 20 minutes and just cut it out this take time but it's worth it if you like what you do how do you know how to talk about during the video so for my bullet journal setups i use grammarly where i write my voiceover and then i just record it on my phone and then i just inserted the um, the voiceover on the video but normally I edit the whole video and I see what I want to talk about because sometimes I need to see like what pens I use and do I want to talk about that in this part or that in that part I need to like you know talk about my expenses my habit tracker my calendar all that stuff so I write on Grammarly everything and then I just need to add it to the video but for these types of videos I don't have a script I only have here my notebook with some notes um for the things that i can't forget to talk about so it's different and it's harder in my opinion to film videos like this and to edit and to know what to say on these types of videos so this is how i film and edit my youtube videos if you like this video please let me know and if you think that i forgot something in this video or if you want to know something in particular leave it in the comments down below that i will answer it with links and everything that you want to know and i'll see you in my next video bye